you're all doing really well, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a bit of a weird surrounding, but we are currently in Gatwick Airport. It's, what time is it? Like, uh, it's quarter past six in the morning. I've got a whole gang of people I'm going to introduce in a second. We are going to Amsterdam. So if you guys remember, but around this time in November last year, I went to Amsterdam with a brand called King Costal. I'll leave a video link down below. And they have very kindly reached out and said, hey Luke, do you want to take you and some of your friends to Amsterdam to experience life in Amsterdam as a group? And we're like, absolutely, we love Amsterdam. I'm going to introduce you to everyone now, just as all done. I will leave everyone's links down below, Instagram, YouTube. This is Katie Penny, wonderful fashion, all that kind of good stuff. This is Sadie Bass. You've been on the vlog before, right? Yes, you have. Excellent. I just so camera shy. This is Vicky McGee. Also, YouTube is down below. Instagram's down below. What are you getting for breakfast? No one cares. <laughs> Sam Gray style, legend, alcoholic. <laughs> and this is JC Peters, the legend that is, the man, the legend. Um, so yeah, we're going to order some breakfast, have some food. Our flight leaves in like 10, 15 minutes past the time, so... So we have made it into the centre of... No, we haven't. Where are we? We're at the airport, so aren't we? <laughs> Take two. We've got all of our bags here right now, and we're going to hop on the train and the ferry. The good thing about Clean Hostels is it's literally half an hour commute from the airport straight to the hotel, so it's absolutely amazing. Um, so we're literally going to hop on the tube, drop our cases, get the ferry, and head on into Amsterdam. The weather's not so great, but I'm sure we'll make the most of it. Hey! Welcome to Amsterdam, and you, and Thank you, and you, and welcome to Amsterdam. And the weather's cleared up as well, how amazing. Yeah. Woohoo! And we made it! That was so easy, literally that's what I love about this hostel, it's perfect in Amsterdam. One thing I've already told the guys about is please be mindful of zebra crops in Amsterdam because there's bikes, there's trams, there's cars, there's people, all of the above. It's just not great. But they're learning. They're Londoners. They know. We're literally heading into the centre of Amsterdam now and we're going to have a little explore. We're going to get bikes out either tomorrow or Sunday. I don't think we've quite decided on the date yet, but it's all weather dependent, I guess. But So we have decided that we're going to go to a place called Mork, M-O-A-K, I'll leave a link down below. It's apparently one of the best pancake spots in Amsterdam, it's been recommended to Sam, I just came up on Google, it's probably going to be very busy, we might have to wait for a table but that's fine, if it's pancakes and it's good, no one does pancakes like the Dutch. All adoring the um, lovely little canals, this is going to feature very heavily in here. Very, very nice. So this is the place that we've came for an early brunch. It's called Mork. I've been really recommended this place for pancakes. It's slap bang in the city centre. They've got outside seat. I'm gonna go in. Let's go. So this is the menu we're dealing with. Uh, Sam's just pointing this out. Apparently this is 100 euros and they put real gold leaf on it, which is oh just God. insane. Sort of city Bass is contemplating it. Are you contemplating it? I think this is me in a pancake. A gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> so we are officially deciding what we're having. <laughs> That did just happen, missed the table. Um, we're deciding what we're having. I think I'm going to go for something called the Mancakes, which is bacon, cheddar cheese, grilled onions, and maple syrup, and obviously pancakes. Oh my god. I mean, this is like the dirtiest looking pancakes I've ever seen in my life. Maple syrup, cheese, yeah, onions, bacon. Katie's look incredible. I love that you react this way to food, like you or me. I'm like, I'm smelling them. Sam's like getting shots, obviously. I am literally like, stop it. it. Oh. has melted in between. Do you like a Nigella? Do you like a, oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> So 
we have just finished up those delicious pancakes. I'll leave that down below. That was absolutely incredible. And now we're on the mission to try and find some cool Instagram spots. So we were like essentially on the canals um, and we're going to just go have a little wander and see what we can find. Sam's already snapping away. <laughs> we've um we've just finished up shooting some Instagram photos and they look really cool. I'll put them on the screen here and here if they are live, which I imagine they will be by the time this video goes up. Um Amsterdam's beautiful. out there with the flowers. This is amazing. We've got bulbs, we've got the guys here. How amazing is this? So crazy. These flowers are insane. Um, we're basically trying to find a boat but it's just not going very well because they're all like 50 passengers. Oh there's boats but we don't know. There's millions of boats which I don't know which one to get on or how to get on one. Some guys said go back to Central Station but I don't Really true. I mean, truly, I think we we need we'll find one. We will. Also, hello, hi. Sam just vlogs and completely reminded me that I also have to vlog because I forgot to do so. And um, we're back at the hostel. I haven't showed you inside our room. This is where I was essentially staying in November, but it's a four bunk dorm, same as what I was in last time. Let me quickly show you the room. This is Vicky's bed. You haven't made your bed. Wonderful. How is it? It's quite cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I it's mean, cool. I haven't made it, so I don't know if it's comfy. Now. It is very comfy. Katie's here, Sam's here, and I'm up here. I've got my little bits. Currently looking for restaurant recommendations, but essentially all of the restaurants seem to be in this main part of town. Um, I know I've got some Netherlands viewers out there that are going to tell me to avoid all of these restaurants at all costs and maybe head a bit further downtown. But I think that's tomorrow. Um, we're going to click out like De Pip, I think, which is here, and then we're going to do Vondel Park as well. So. But yeah, I think we're going to go for an Italian restaurant this evening, which is called... Italian views, I don't know how you say that. Le Capacchiatone? Um, it's called the Red Wine District, guys. Not the Red Light District, the Red Wine District. How do we feel about that? That's literally me all over. Excellent, wow. We are just about to head out for the evening. We're in the hostel at the moment. I'm going to show you guys the hostel in the morning because I feel like we just had like such a settled evening. Um, we're having breakfast in the morning. We're gonna, I'm going to give you like a whole tour of like, communal space. We might hit up the bar this evening, but um, yeah. We're going out for an Italian this evening. We've decided on that, which is literally straight into the main part of Amsterdam. So hopefully they have a tour for us. Let's go. I'll link down below. Um, Kate's vegan, so we're trying to find a vegan restaurant, and it's proven quite difficult. But we've came to a place called At James's. Um, we have a fear that it might be a little bit touristy, but they do some vegan options. So any vegan viewers out there, take note. I will link this down below as well. Yes. Yeah, the price is really good. To be fair, they've got like a main course for, like 16 euros. We've noticed Amsterdam's quite expensive for dinner and lunch and breakfast is fine, but dinner's pricey. But it's literally right in the heart, so I like, oh. Yeah, so like the centre station is literally just over there, it's like the main square, um, and we are here. We're sat outside, it's quite nice to be fair. Got a little heater going on. Not have a waffle. How can I? Not, how, I'm just get my hands involved. Just do it. I'm just gonna get involved. Good. Good morning, everybody. Today is the first full day in Amsterdam. The weather isn't so great. We're off to breakfast. The most important thing of the morning. So yeah, we're gonna go grab some breakfast. The great thing about Clink is that they have a huge buffet. And, sorry, it's really loud. We've got a huge buffet for continental breakfast. So we're gonna go in and get some morning snacks. So we have came down for breakfast this morning. I've gone for some wholemeal toast, some buttered mushrooms, some beans, some granola, hard boiled eggs, I've got a coffee, a juice. Guys have gone in. The good thing about Clink as well is that breakfast is only eight euros for as much as you want. You get coffee, juice, you've got a hot dog station, continental cheese, ham, everything. Absolutely so good. So um, yeah, let's dig in.
Okay, so we have the gang here. We've got got Vicky, we've got the guys in the back. Um, we've just signed out life away on the dot table. <laughs> we've hired um, <laughs> six bikes for 24 hours with insurance and it came to 99 euros, which isn't bad, like 100 euros for a group of six. It's really good. Obviously, Amsterdam's a great place to come on your own, but you can come as a group as well. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, Clink are offering a discount to anyone who books this summer. If you book in advance, you can get from 15 to 20% off of um, hostel prices. Hostels are already very affordable, but get an extra discount which always helps especially for a solo traveler and trying to save money or if you're in a group as well so um yeah we'll have to collect some bikes john said you're just getting ready as well but fingers crossed we're okay last time we were but i think we're going to be fine again so we're just about to grab some bikes this is so exciting so we are all aboard the ferry we've got our bikes in tour we're all set the first point that we're going to go to is a museum slash library called the Rec library or something. Um, it's a 15 minute cycle from the hostel. I'll leave it down below. It's very loud. We're off. So we are literally just cycling through the centre of Amsterdam. I think this is genuinely one of my favourite places in the whole entire world. Got the guys in the back. It's just unreal. What? I do live Amsterdam. But it'd be quite alert when you're cycling through. <laughs> So Katie has just recommended that we come to this place called Polarberry. Apparently it's like one of the Instagram Pinterest places to come. It's like chocolate, coffee and strawberries. So let's go in. These look amazing. Look at all of these snaps guys. <gasps> wow. So these are the flavours that we got. Katie's vegan. So which one was it? The Golden Crunch one yeah. here. So any vegans out there, you can head there. So it's Golden Crunch. Um, Vicky got the Daisy. Sam got the Street Waffle and I got the Strawberry Crunch. It looks so good. <laughs> Go for it. This is the behind the scenes of the Instagram right here, guys. <laughs> so this is the strawberry I've gone for. It's covered in white chocolate and it's got like strawberry pieces on it as well. Let's give it a try. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wasn't recording. Oh my God, that's delicious. Katie, excellent recommendation. Smashed it. So, so good. So we've just been shooting some really nice photos at the other side of the canal and now we've stopped off for a little coffee, having a little social media catch up, taking some cooler pictures as well. And um, the weather, touch wood, is actually holding off. There are some clouds over there, but then there's blue skies, so fingers crossed. And then we're gonna head to a vegan, what's it called, a vegan street, junkyard vegan? Yeah. Junkyard vegan. Um, so we're heading to a place called Junkyard Vegan. It's like basically vegan food in Amsterdam. Last time I came, I went to the Food Hallen, which is basically Amsterdam's version of Burr Market in London. But obviously Katie's vegan, so we're gonna go and get some vegan bits, um, and I'll vlog one with her. This is the place we're gonna try and come for lunch. It's called Pluck. Apparently they've got really good vegan and vegetarian options, so let's go inside. It looks awesome. Wow. Oh my god, look at this. This place is incredible, guys. Oh my god, I love that. It's like a H&M home in a restaurant, it's amazing. They've got so much cool stuff in here, as well as being a restaurant, they've got like little daily planners, me and Sam just spotted these little whiskey things, they've got little reusable cups. So cool. Look. At this food. Oh my god, guys. I mean, this is so Okay, so quick t shirt change. We snipped into HM. And we are in Vondel Park. We came here last time. The weather isn't as nice, I'm not gonna lie. However, we've got the bikes, all good to go. And um, we're gonna try and get a shot on these and the classic Amsterdam photo. Um, but yes, it's a bit great miserable today. It's okay. Sam, do you wanna lead the way? I feel like you've got a better eye than I do. Covered about I don't even know how many miles, but quite a few, and we are now off to get some stoop waffles, if that's how you say it in Dutch, uh, which apparently are like a delicacy. And there is a queue that is like a mile long. Okay. Here we go. Apparently, the place for the best waffles in Amsterdam. Oh, 
So we're just chilling, having a Van Vonden Stroopwaffle just over the canal. How is it, Vicky? Is it good? It's delightful. Is it? How, what do you think? Yeah. Basically had to queue inside for what felt like half a decade. Katie got bored and went and got ice cream. It was like they had one waffle iron for like a whole queue of people. So maybe go over there if you're in a rush, but they do look good. Hello, good evening. It's Saturday evening and we are about to head out. We're just in the hostel at the minute. I'm going to give you guys a tour in the morning of this hostel because obviously I have actually shown you it before. But I know there are a lot of new people out there who do subscribe, so I'm going to show you it again. They're playing a bit of music, so it's a bit loud. Um, but we are heading to the Adam Lookout, which is essentially on Clink... Well, what's it called? Island. Nord Island, Nord, right? Yeah, yeah it's like N-O-O-R-D. Um, Essentially, it's like a lookout and it's a huge building. It's got like a swing at the top of it and it has a rooftop bar. So that's what the plan is now. Um, and then we're going to head into central Amsterdam and go to another place that Katie's found. It's like a hotel with loads of plants, um, but it has a restaurant as well. So we're going to get some food and then we're going to come back to the hostel and grab some drinks. And I'll show you all that as it unfolds. But um, yeah, I've massively underpacked for this trip. I've totally run out of outfits and we have a whole full day tomorrow as well. So cool. But um, yes, we're gonna grab some drinks, grab some food, and the rest is history. So this is where we are going this evening, to the top of the roof bar. Let's go in. We have came to the top of the Adam, or the At Dam, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, basically, it's like a rooftop in Nord, and you have to pay to get in, which is fine. It was 19 euros and 50 cents, so it's not too expensive. Plus, we get two drinks as well. It's really good, um, and they also have some swings, where you can swing off the edge of the building. It's quite, it's quite cool, and it's quite a nice little sunset going on over there as well. Let me show John Sadie taking some shots. Get those lit shots. Sunsets, yeah, sunsets are actually going over there. It's lovely. It's really cool that they actually show you on the map as well. So this part of um, downtown Amsterdam. Thank you, Thank you, Pete. It's called De Pube. Um It's a really, really nice, like, cool, um, trendy part of Amsterdam. And obviously this is renowned for the red light district. Um, we went yesterday, didn't really enjoy it, but we just did it to take it off the list. Um, yeah, it's a treat over here. I've just finished up drinks at the Ear Dam or Adam or Adam. I'm not quite sure how you say it. And now we're heading on our bikes and cycling into the centre of Amsterdam for a delicious dinner. We've rang the restaurant and said, hey, can we have a reservation for six? Apparently they're throwing a third birthday party. So we're just gonna go and be like, hello, can we have some drinks and food? So that's the plan. We have to cycle to a place that is called Bar. Botanic. Botanic. Um, it's in like a little suburban part of Amsterdam. They're having a birthday party. It's like a third year birthday party. I stumbled across it. They randomly gave us a drink, which is lovely. Um, we're going to order some food. I think I'm either going to go for a hamburger or a risotto. That's my two choices. Risotto or hamburger. Look at this food, guys. Oh my. Hello, guys. Good morning. It's our second full day in Amsterdam and our last day. I'm very, very good. I absolutely love it here. We are just outside the hostel. I'm going to give you guys a full tour when we head back this evening. But we're just jumping on the bikes. They've allowed us to extend our bikes for like 11 euros, which is made for the whole 24 hours. It's so good. So we're going to hop on them now and head in the centre of Amsterdam and take some more cool photos. They're killing me. I genuinely think we're all going to get saddle sores by the end of this. Be it better have some cushion in the middle seats though, I swear. But saddle sores? I feel like, I, I, yeah, I feel like I'm on a bike, even when I'm not on a bike. We're just out here taking some pictures. Katie's grabbing Vicky's bike shot. Gonna see this on the gram. If you guys want to check out any of the guys' Instagrams, I'm going to link them all down below. I'll put Katie's, Vicky's, Sam's, Joe. They're all going to be in the description box, but look at that. So while the guys are taking some photos, I'm just going to have a little bit of a wonder and explore. But honestly, I am genuinely obsessed with Amsterdam. It's, I say this, well, I said this last time. I could see myself living here. I think the, the Dutch way of living is just so, like, efficient and happy. And everyone seems to be healthy and it's just, it's incredible. So it's a bit later on now and we are at a place called Vegan Junk Food Bar. Um, another vegan place. And we got a bit of a caught in the rain, but that's fine. Um, the menu looks incredible. I've just walked past someone and they had like a whole plate of like, a load of cheese fries, but obviously. Do they do regular, do they do normal? Just all vegan? Eating vegan. Good. 
and I'll show you the menu and I'll show you the place as well. Yeah, which is awesome. And this is the menu. Is it really bad that I'm placing my meal order purely on what it looks like on the Instagram? I always do that. If I've never been somewhere, I'll look for recommendations. It'd be like, okay. Literally. I feel like we could get a shot here as well, you know, like that in the background. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Nice. Chef. Thank you. Cheers. Chin chin. We're getting on the bottom. There we are. This tastes amazing. Oh my gosh. We have blue bread. Blue bread. I think that's down here as well. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, that actually came out So we have just gotten to the place where we are getting a board tour. We actually are doing a board tour. The weather has slightly improved. So um we are all aboard the boat and it's actually turned into a really lovely day. I'm a little bit so warm. Yes, warm. <laughs> um, and it'll probably start raining in a second, let me show you. This is what we're dealing with at the moment, but this is our boat. It's quite cool. We're looking for a little, like, smaller private one, but this'll do. Okay, so we are back at the hostel now and we are grabbing our cases and going back to London. I'm very, very, um, a bit good, I'm not gonna lie. We've had the most amazing time. I'm a little bit wounded and the weather's really nice as well. But I thought I'd show you guys a quick tour of the hostel. Obviously, a lot of you have seen, I know a lot of you have seen it last time from when I was here in November, but obviously this is gonna be new to some of you who've newly subscribed, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour, so let's go. Future Edit is gonna insert this into the clip now. We are promoting um, an offer that Clink do offer where if you book in advance, you can save up to 20% on your stay. So obviously 20% is quite a lot, depending on how many stays you book. Um, so I'm gonna leave that linked down below, as always, with all of Clink's social media and handles if you wanna check it out. Um, um, but that's gonna fast forward to now. So this is like the communal area um, and this is where we've been chilling for a couple of evenings and the bar is down here. It's, like, it's a really cool space to be fair. They've got like a hockey table. The zinc bar is down here. Um, I'm not, I think it actually might be open. Yeah, I think it opens at six, which is now. So they've got a whole full bar down there, which is absolutely amazing. We spent last time here and last night as well, but my camera died so I couldn't show you. But it's a really cool bar and it's very affordable too. This is the atrium and if you remember last time, I did the yoga session here and they do yoga every Thursday. And look at this. It's literally huge. They've got a whole open space here. You can come and play at like Connect Four. It's a nice little space to chill with friends. It's amazing. And there's really cool spaces as well to just chill and do some work. If you're on like a little trip that obviously you aren't here for fun, if you're here for work, you can get your little bits done there. There's a little book reading section. This is like the hostel reception and there's a little coffee shop as well and they do amazing paninis. The paninis here are 10 out of 10. Clink do offer where if you book in advance, you can save up to 20% on your stay. So obviously 20% is quite a lot depending on how many stays you book. Um, so I'm gonna leave that linked down below. As always, with all of Clink's social media and handles if you wanna check it out. Um, but that's gonna fast forward to now. Guys, I'm gonna end my vlog here because I feel like I've got so much footage and the airport's just gonna be us getting very delirious and eating food and Vicky, if you do that. <laughs> it's been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to Clink for um, hosting us all. We've had such a good time. If you wanna check out Clink, like I say, I'll leave it down below. All the guys are gonna be linked down as well with all their socials and stuff. Anyone else have any, oh. Anyone what? else have anything nice to say? No, uh, good. Bye. Bye. Fine. Right, thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you very soon in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Click the link on the bell as well. Let's you know I'm uploading new videos every single week. Follow my social media and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.